worked in play in all kinds of genres and worlds, from books, TV, movies, and video games. Cortex is designed for episodic one-shots, as well as longer epic story arcs online or in person. To show you how easy it is, I used Cortex to design the most immersive horror game you'll ever experience. I call it Tax Code Carnage. <laughs> IRS Annihilation, a thrilling and chilling game of adventure and accounting as you and your party delve into the darkness of the federal tax code and file your returns by April 15th before evil audit monsters garnish your soul. <laughs> <laughs> I'll demonstrate. Oh wait, I'm rolling too early. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! I'm making my own rules of this stupid game and I've already broken my own rules. <laughs> oh no! A CPA Aboleth is trying to shred my Form 1040. Time to file an extension. A seven? My deductibles weren't itemized. So much red tape, no problem. I'll cast a fourth level fixed asset cash flow spell. Not one, I'm insolvent! Guys? <laughs> so, my question to you guys is, does it need some more work or can Daring to Press publish this like right away? I need a little more playtesting. I think it's great. I think it's ready to go. Or, or is it too spooky? Is it too scary? It's terrifying. Uh, my God. Great commercial ring. <laughs> anyway, right now Fandom is giving away three copies of the main Cortex rulebook on Twitter. Twitter.com slash Cortex RPG. So head over for a chance to get a copy or simply grab your own digital phys or physical copy right now at bit.ly slash Cortex RPG CR. Woo! Hey! 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 Nice job, Pax Good man. Good game. Physical copy. Filer! <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Thank you very much, Sam. And thank you, uh, fandom friends and Cortex. Uh, our second sponsor for tonight is Hocus Pocus The Game, what? which is a thing that exists, like the OG. Awesome Hocus Pocus classic of, of the era. Uh, in the game, players must match the colored ingredients in this, on the game board to stun the Sanderson sister and stop. Sisters, I think, are our mm -hmm. Stop their sinister There's clock. Three of them. That's what I've said. Well, it's a singular on the page, so. Black Link Town. <laughs> the sisters, which I knew. Uh, and stop their sinister plot. The game's packaging is designed to look like a spell book to reflect the theme of the original Disney movie <laughs> and it makes a wonderful addition to book shows. Um, yeah, we're going to have to get one for ourselves. I um, it also crush on Billy. Hell yeah. It also includes beautiful artwork, faithful to the original Disney film, as well as high quality components like the adorable wooden Binks game piece. Uh, easy to learn and quick to play for two to six players. It's perfect for family game night this fall season. So check it out at bit.ly, B-I-T dot L-Y slash quick roll hocus pocus for more details. Can I just say that I watched that movie for the first time this Halloween season Wait, with my first? Oh, man. I had never seen Same. it. Did Wait, you? Really? I, it's really yeah. good. It's adorable. Sarah Jessica Parker is so good. good. She's, she's so good, good in it. We were just talking about this. She was like the most beautiful Witty. thing I'd ever seen in my life. Yeah. 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 My lucky rat's tail. <laughs> she's so good. Yeah. I love her. Why did we watch like that? Like the with the Looney Tunes humor too. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. I still think she was better in Fire of the Navigator. But anyway. <laughs> So, uh, we have a few other announcements we have here. Uh, we are excited to announce our next project with our friends at Dark Horse Comics, The Mighty Nine Origins. What? <laughs> it's a series of hardcover graphic novels that explores the origin story of each member of The Mighty Nine. Uh, the first two volumes that are scheduled for release are Jester Lavore, due in June 2021, and Caleb Widogast in July of 2021. Uh, they're both available for pre-order now at your local game shops and other book retailers. And they're fantastic. We can't wait to be able to announce the creative team up and put this together. Uh, and to learn more about the creative team I'm talking about, uh, go check out our announcement article at critroll.com. Uh, Marisha, you got an announcement as well. <laughs> oh, I do. I should really read these before we get started. Oh, man. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, we're back for another episode of Narrative Telephone, round two this Tuesday, November 17th at 4 p.m. Pacific. And our storyteller is the one and the only Brian W. Foster. Uh, buckle up for this one. The Cabbage Man. Yeah. Buckle up, it's special. 
Yeah. 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 It's a good word. Yeah. 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 Definitely. <laughs> Thank you, Marisha. Don't want it's I'd say you not safe for work. Not that no. any of us are at work. No, no but safe for work. Not safe for work. Yeah. yeah. Brian definitely kicked us down that alleyway. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Marcia. Thank you, <laughs> Brian. Uh, <laughs> and Laura, you have enough. Oh, I do. Um, so you guys know our Vox Machina D20 set that we released before. But I'm excited to let you know that we're doing full sets of dice. So right now, we have available a Vex set. A grog set and a bag set. Yay. They're in the store. These are the pretty like leather bags that they come in. They're lined up beautifully. They're so lovely. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, I love them. Um, they're with our friends at Die Hard Dice. Uh, so yeah, go check them out. Go look inside the dice. That's Natural right? twenty. No, oh, God. <laughs> right out of the gate. The mug came up. Oh my God! And then. 19 on mine. What the? Oh, like I got a natural tumble. 20 on the on the Vax one. Tumble, bone, and stone. These I are weighted properly, terribly. we swear. <laughs> They're it's correctly true. weighted. They're fancy, I love them. You guys them. better not be using those dice tonight. <laughs> <laughs> They're all your own way too high. <laughs> Alrighty then. Thank you so much, Laura. <laughs> Why, what happens yeah. tonight, Matt? Well, let's find out shortly <laughs> because <laughs> with that, I believe we are done with our announcement. <laughs> that's such, let's go ahead and jump into tonight's episode of Critical Role. Welcome back. <laughs> so, last we left off, the Mighty Nine making their way north into the realm of Isil Cross, hired by Vesterogna of the Cerberus Assembly to help bring her and protect her towards the ruins of Aeor on the region of Foreign. Unfortunately, Ves was murdered <laughs> what? By, by the previous ally, or at least the body of the previous ally, Malimok traveling with other individuals northward on a similar path. You discovered Vessa's dead corpse, covered for it so nobody else would discover it as well, and made your rapid escape from Balan Post, along with your scout, Dagon Underthorn, who has been leading you through the icy, frigid realm towards the first location on the map which you've decided to explore. Dubbed A5 on the map, it is one of the numerous uh, early excavations of fallen Aeorian debris. And after making your way across some mysterious encounters, some strange weather, and making some uh, allies out of possible enemies in the shape of intelligent Yeti, mm -hmm. um, you discovered the outside of this excavation site. As you found a number of long frozen bodies left in the surrounding debris, ice and stone, you begin to approach the entrance to it. And so, picking up where we left off, as uh, Dagon once more goes. All right, so, um, got you here. That's what I'm being paid for. I'll just set up camp out here, and if I see anything strange, I'll 
I don't know, shout loudly down the hall for you, but um, stay alive. For sure, but also don't feel like you need to just remain outside. If there is trouble, you'll come in, won't you? Oh yeah, I mean, but I'm not gonna go super deep in there. I don't know what kind of dangers are in, to be honest, I'm not being paid quite enough for that, so fair. Do we have any sort of communication rock or anything that we can give? Do we, do we, do we don't have anything like that in this campaign, do we? <laughs> no, we just right. pierce his no, ear no, for no reason. Yeah. <laughs> Hold still. <laughs> but I can send him a message. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe like, uh, well, I can send him a message unless we go farther than 150 feet but away. But you might, yeah. All right, well, I'll, I'll send you a message right before we get 150 feet away. <laughs> yeah, and if, if things get real dangerous or you... <laughs> I don't know, if you find yourselves being suddenly attacked by a bunch of terrible beasts that are climbing their way to the surface and you're not going to survive, if you could just let me know in advance so I can skedaddle out. I'll try to remember great. that before I die. I appreciate it. All right, then. Stay safe. <laughs> we'll see you on the other side. We have a rule in the Mighty Nine. If we don't come back within seven days, you have to hold a funeral for all of us. How elaborate do you think? I mean... No, elaborate. We gave you a thousand gold, right? So at least a thousand gold worth of stuff. For sure, you have to. How about I pay for the funeral out of the extra I was paid when we took this journey? Sound sounds like good. a plan? That sounds good. Perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and cook up a meal. Good luck. He goes ahead and makes his way away from the initial alcove where you guys are currently standing at the precipice of the entrance to find a safer space to set up his small camp out of sight. I had um, seen see invisibility up when um, Molly Mock or admin profile or whoever was talking to Jester. Uh, that's <laughs> down now, right? It's been it's been like an hour plus, right? Uh, I'd say I'd say it's probably because you guys did begin looking through the bodies and stuff, and that was I remember when you did that. I'd say yeah, it's, I'd say it's down by now. Yeah. So not. I think we agreed we're going to enter, but be open to hearing a story before we kick shit off. Yes? I mean, there's no surprise happening here. No. No. Yeah. Is there anything that we can do to surprise them? Like, they'll expect seven people walking down a, a, a hallway should we make ourselves look like six or eight or should we should three of us hide or be invisible feeling because L lucian could see me scrying he can probably see if one of us is invisible or you know if we're disguised or something I feel like we're each one see of for our usual bullshit yeah, I feel like those nine eyes will flare up at different moments to activate something. And I think, didn't you say when you were scrying, an eye lit up and they turned and could see you? I can't remember. Pretty Maybe. Sure. Yeah. Yes, but if two, of, two of you can be, you know, worms or cockroaches. They can't, they, they, they can't see through that, right? I think we save our tricks until we know what we need. Didn't we do that once before and the cockroach was a little on the... It was a moth. A moth, yeah. And you weren't super with it, right? I don't know what you're talking about. A little about. easily distracted. Maybe not just yet. All right. Thank you, Amy Curtin. Wait, what did the stone in the arch <laughs> say? It had markings? Did we not, did, did we figure that out? What stone? Oh, I don't stone? think we looked. Is this so, far out? <clears throat> no, as the entrance to this, you can see uh, there once was solid ice that had just sealed it off and has since been worked away. You saw signs of uh, large chunks of ice and rock being chiseled and broken to expose the entrance that leads further down beneath the surface. But it doesn't look like there are like any markings necessarily or script or writing or glyphs on it. It's just the sign that this was a space that was intentionally dug and excavated to delve within. That's what that means. That's what I wrote down. It didn't make any sense. Translated, it says days since last last accident. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> possibly. So, do you make your way in? I guess so. Yep. I think we're just going in and having a discussion. Is it super duper dark? There is no light inside there. 
Uh, I'll take out the uh, star razor and say, Galas va! We'll put out that 20 foot. As it ignites the air around with bright divine light, you can see immediately in the first few steps within the entrance, it pincers a little bit and it looks like it opens up into a smaller chamber, maybe no more than five feet uh, within the interior. I come up right behind the floor and I go, Galas va! Does it turn it off? Uh, no, unfortunately, the wielder has to say the phrase. Too bad. That is pretty funny. That is very, very clever. Though. Just trying to see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just power up a bolt with, with a spell. I'll, I'll voltaic bolt a spell, uh, uh, a, a bolt, just so it's ready to go. Okay. How long does it last? It just says until I use it. it should be concentration. Oh, you're totally right. I don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> And how many f sets of footprints do we see going into the cave? A number of sets. There are fresher ones you can see, but there are older ones that come in and out. You know, a lot of people have been through here, and who knows how many sets have been wiped out by the weather and then uh, been left behind in recent times. It's a, it's a smattering, but there you do see a number of sets that are at least within the last day or so. All right. You want me to scout ahead and check for things, trappies and stuff? Yeah. And the marching order would be preferred. I guess I'll go first. Okay. <clears throat> first. Walk in the park. Who else is coming up after this? Nobody for at least 100 feet. Okay. <laughs> so. I'll fuck off. If you're going to message Dagon, now it's the time. Dagon! We're 150 feet away. Four up. <laughs> All right, so. <clears throat> you, go ahead and roll a stealth check as you enter into darkness. Do you have dark vision? I do. My stealth is 25. Okay. Um, Halflings have dark vision? Hoo ha! Halflings have dark vision? Uh. Ooh, hey, that's not lovely. Dark vision. Oh, hey. Let's see here. Racial traits. Is that where it would be? Yep. It doesn't say it in racial traits. Uh oh. Uh oh. Do yeah. I not have dark vision? <gasps> I think you did. goblins did. Yeah, not as a halfling. Whoa! <laughs> Uh, I didn't know they made characters that didn't have dark vision. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> but like, seriously, don't all the characters have dark vision except like for all, humans? All but two. <laughs> a lot of uh, a number of them do. Yes. Just, and even dark vision, you you still can see in pitch darkness, but it's considered very very low light, and it's still very limited. So. I can't see shit. <laughs> <laughs> you want to borrow my goggles? <laughs> should, do I should attune to them? I don't think. So. <laughs> what do we know? <laughs> How do we know? <laughs> About 30 feet away on the precipice of an ice cliff, Dagon's going, I guess. <laughs> it's been a while since this has been relevant. Oh, <laughs> well, glad I got some pay up front. You guys got something on your mind? It's not. <laughs> It's not. It's not? I can wear them? Yeah, you can just put them on. They're just night vision goggles. All right, give me. Yeah, but I want them back. <laughs> but I want them back. <laughs> but I want them back. Oh, oh, I feel sorry. Yeah. Will you, right, will you acknowledge go. that you're going to give them back? Yeah. yeah. I got it. <laughs> they don't make you cr look straight. They don't make you cross eyes. Okay. That's the wall, man. That's, That's the wall. wall. This is how I do it. All right, let's go. You Roll self You see an optometrist. <laughs> I'm going to get the back. blessing of the trickster, him, her. Wow. Okay, you go. What? That is a dainty ring. It is. It is. It's not like What is happening right now? <laughs> <laughs> Molly! <laughs> <laughs> All right, blessing of the trickster. Do you see have advantage on your stealth check? I already have. Which you would have already. But now you're blessed by the trickster. Oh. There you go. So roll again? Yes. Okay. Sure. <laughs> uh, slightly better than before. 29. 29, okay. So, as you vanish into shadow, all of you wait for a moment, you make your way inside where it begins to open up slightly. It kind of, you enter a sort of kidney-shaped, slightly curved antechamber of natural rock and ice. It's about 15 feet wide, maybe 25, 30 feet long, and make a perception check for me. That doesn't matter, special to me. Uh, 
Twelve. Twelve. <laughs> what you do see within this room are signs of an abandoned encampment. Small, but you can see there is a, an old frayed rope that is partially coiled in the ground and discarded at the side. Uh, you see heavy tools that have been, you know, like pickaxes and elements that are used for simple excavation. Um, you see a pile of rags and burlap, it's like sacks and stuff, uh, and a, two different black soot-marked fire pits in here that currently are just in disuse. But it looks like this was a resting place or a temporary encampment or a rotating encampment for those who are coming to excavate this location. And then the chamber continues on you can see it goes deeper and deeper and kind of becomes a steady decline into darkness below. And it pincers into about a wide enough space for single file travel. And everyone else is like 30 feet behind me? Or? Yeah, they're still by the entrance. So like they're, they're about 20, 30 feet. Uh, let me just go look and see how, if those uh, fire pits or whatever are recently used. All right, go make an investigation check for me. 23. 23, looking at the fire pits, uh, one of them looks like it hasn't been used in a while. One of them looks like the recent ash and soot in there puts it somewhere in the neighborhood of the past week or so. It could it be a day ago, it could be a few days ago, but it's relatively recent. Okay, I'll take some soot from there and just kind of do this, get ready for battle. Oh, yeah, cool. yeah. Um, and I'll just uh, message back to the, the friends. Okay, first first room's clear. Nothing here, I'm gonna keep going down. But you c come, come up, and then I'll go down. Yep. I don't know how to, go. <laughs> <laughs> what, <laughs> what is that? Just like that. Of all the movies you've seen, did you ever see? <laughs> that was like, don't worry me shit, it's fire. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> That's what the SWAT teams do. <laughs> Thing I've ever seen. OSD is no longer going to take our support. <laughs> okay, I stop. Stop. La. Serpentine. Serpentine. Go. <laughs> All right, I'll continue down. Okay, you all still staying outside? No, we're uh, following she, 30 feet behind. Beat your wish, okay. Keeping so you follow in after Veth, and you too see this small encampment here with the kind of scattered elements and piles of disused tools and rags and things that, that lead you to believe that people stayed here at some point. And the tunnel continues on beyond that in a very thin, maybe six foot tall, two and a half foot wide opening that itself looks partially broken into the ice and rock like it maybe at one point. It's one point itself was just sealed solid ice. Can I check to see if there's any Markings on the walls, any codes, anything kind of utilizing my sure, can't, make my peeps can't kind of background perception. Okay. No, not good. Eight. Eight. That wouldn't be an investigation. <laughs> either way, either way. <laughs> You don't see any markings, you don't see any writing, you don't see any symbols. It looks like this is just simple, bare rock and ice. Okay. So no, nothing like directing miners or anything like that, or any of excavation? No. Miners or miners? Oh, Mi though, one that's second. miners. One second. Minor. <laughs> minor, minor. Yeah. Can I go up and just uh, put hands on the wall, just kind of like drag fingers across it and just make sure it's actually real? Yeah. So you work along one side and drag your fingers through, and as it does, you hear kind of the, the grinding of ice crystals, and then occasionally the slick elements of smoother ice, uh, stone. It's all solid, cold to the fingertips, but thankfully you have gloves. Before uh, Beth takes off, I apparate uh, Frumpkin and uh, scooch uh, Frumpkin into the hood of your cloak so that he crawls in a bit like a, a mink stole. It's warm, it's warm. Yeah, a little, little weight here. A little more healthy. Okay. <laughs> Can I check the uh, fire pit that has been used to see if there's anything in there other than, you know, ash? Uh, sure, make an investigation. I don't know why. Some old in insects you can eat? Guidance. Food. Ooh, just in time. You get an extra D4. I do. This would be. Ooh, 
Uh, okay. Uh, where's my investigation? 15. 15. You see within uh, the ashes that remain here, some of it's wood based burnt carbon, some of it is melted fats. Um, it looks like with a lack of nearby timber, you know, the, the, the abundance of timber is not available here. So you would, you see there are various different materials that were used to start and maintain a fire. Um, that's what you acquire from that. But regard, because you have a super high passive investigation, you also glance over while she's looking at the, uh, the fire pit, the pile of rags and burlap that rests off to the side. You can see some of it looks like long discarded bedroll elements. Uh, and you see what looks like the edge of a boot under it. Does this <laughs> take your shoes off before we go any further? <laughs> um, does this look like shaped, you know, like there's a body that goes with that boot? A large enough pile where a body can fit under it, but. All right, I um, I'm just gonna look at Veth and go towards the pile of clothes. And you're going, or do you want me to? I don't know. I'm just I'm going. Falling. I don't know. You're like I'm gonna go there too. <laughs> there we go. But before I pull anything off, can I kind of poke my staff? Sure. You poke the boot, and the boot shifts when you poke it. Did you see that? Did you see that? Did you bonk? Did you see that? Not on its own. Oh. <laughs> but it, when you push it, you push it. It, gi it gives. I want to poke the the, pss, the the bear. The, the bear. I want to poke the mound. Okay. No reaction. Just uncover that Look shit. Look at this. You think he's this. dead? Take off. Is that another military hand sign? For, oh yeah. For a two stick. Watch all the oh. body. Doggy paddle. Doggy paddle. Doggy paddle. Okay. <laughs> General sense of tension. <laughs> Pulling back the scattered elements of forgotten and tossed aside material, you uncover uncover indeed a frozen corpse. <gasps> um. It appears to be a rather tough-looking drow in heavy leather armor, his face aghast in terror, with trails of frozen blood against his face, setting from his eyes, his ears, his nose, his mouth. Do we recognize him? You do not recognize this individual specifically, now. Dynasty-type attire? Indeed. The blade by his side and the armor he's wearing does bear distinctly Korean dynasty design. Can I do a medicine check to see if, I mean, obviously this has to be within the last, if it's in the last week or if maybe this is much older. Make a medicine check. Got, oh, I didn't say it beforehand. <laughs> Got 24. 24? Yeah. Yes, in fact, this body, um, the elements of it that are currently cold are beginning to, to, to freeze over. Let you know that this is probably within the past few days. Oh. Um, can I inspect the body? Any special markings? Any eyeball tattoos? Sure, make an investigation. Eyeball? I'm gonna kneel down next to her with small flames in each hand oh. and bring it close enough nope. to start. Flying? Oh, yeah, yeah. Guidance! Thank you. This is an investigation check, you said? Yep. Fucking shit. Okay. Uh, uh, 18. 18. Great. So looking at the... There are no distinct wounds on the body. Um, between both of your checks, it looks like the trauma was internal, and the wounds, uh, or at least the, the pattern of bleeding, is identical to how you found Vesteragna, but you do not see any eye-like markings in the body, nothing akin to what you found on hers. When we, I can't remember, when we were in um, the chamber with uh, Avocado, and we mm -hmm. got the vision. Did our ears bleed? Did our nose bleed with that? Or like, or was it just a bad vision? It was just a bad vision. Okay. Uh, the sword next to his body. Plain looking. I mean, not plain, it's obviously a cream sword, but. I mean, it's a well made, you know. So I'll take it and I'll put it in a bag of holding. Okay. Yeah. And searching through his clothes, pockets, any notes, any messages, any ordinances. The blade left behind uh, remains. Everything else in the body is perfect. 
I don't have that today. I, Why would I tell didn't think it would. Thought we would have trouble today, so I packed for trouble. That's what? totally fine. Should we take his head? I mean, it couldn't hurt. Pull that back out, please. The sword? Yeah. Take out my axe. Is this fucked up? No. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh! Oh! What are you doing? You watch as Jester cleaves the head from the drow corpse. It rolls about three or four feet before coming to rest what at did, your feet. Why did you do this that? Is the thing that we do now? No, we, no, no, no. We desecrate so, the body? No, it's just that so Medusa can talk to him later. Oh, just clue us in first. Well, I, we were talking. We were talking I, I thought you had snapped listening. and we were going to have to turn on you now. No, Hold on. Just... Casting decompose on everything but the head just to get it going. Whatever the head. Is going to grow out here, but okay. Caleb, do something with this sword. What did you want? I well, he's holding two flames, and I shake one out, and then I cast detect magic uh, on the sword. Okay, uh, the sword itself is inert, it is a mundane weapon, it is well made, um, but it is a normal weapon. Okay, does that do that? Does it full radius though? To yeah. the Correct, magic. anything else around that's Chloe? nothing else that catches your attention. Okay. What about the head that's on my toe? Can we put not it? magical, but a little ghastly. It's frozen, it'll keep. Maybe you didn't put it in the bag or something. Do we have a bag of colding? No, that was um, another person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you do? Well, this. Oh, it's okay. Wait, what is that? Is that that's not a thing that shattered? It's a new thing? I'll just yeah, put a new piece like, of rubber. Can you put multiple yeah. bodies in it? it? Takes a minute. I mean, it can just be the corpse holder, you know? Sure. I'll just toss him in. <laughs> I put the flames out. <laughs> no, 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 we need not, that. not in time. <laughs> After catching it. Oh, good. <laughs> okay, uh, I need a moment. So I, I need ten, ten minutes to, to put this on ice. Ice, everybody freeze. Um, I'll put down. I'll go scout ahead while you take your ten minutes. So, you know. I'm gonna, give, I'm gonna, before you head off, I'm just gonna really quickly uh, give you some uh, resistance, just in case. Tap. Oh, thank you. Tap resistance. I'm ready. <laughs> okay. So, you go to scout ahead. Roll a stealth check. You still got for an hour. I always have. I know, but now you've got an extra, extra. Never mind, I cast guidance. It's concentration doesn't. 30. <laughs> okay, so you continue on ahead. You do see, uh, through this space, there's a shift in the ice patterns as the tunnel gets smaller and smaller. Um, the ice seems to take on strange shapes around you, the hanging icicles bending at odd angles and it almost appears organic at a flash from time to time, giving you the faint, faint sensation like you're stepping deeper and deeper into some massive creature's gullet. It makes you feel a little anxious and nervous. And as the tunnel tightens and tightens, you reach that point rather rapidly where only one person at a time can pass through. You curve around and follow it down at the, the steady decline. At some points it's slippery and you kind of have to almost put your hands up to keep yourself going and not begin to slide downward. Um, the slick ice here will continue to be an issue depending on the, the steepness of the area ahead of you. But as you continue forward and forward down for a good hundred or so feet, it comes to a wall. It ends at just a stone, sheer wall where you can see there is a crack at the base of it. A little bit to the left, there is a, a large, heavy crack in the stone that kind of heads from floor to ceiling, and where it meets the edge corner of that stone wall to the floor, there is an opening where a person could probably squeeze through. Oh, it's that big. Squeeze through very uncomfortably. We're talking like, oh, like, yeah. like the, the descent, you know, oh, having to squeeze oh, no, no, no. through, and you can't, you don't quite know how I'm far it goes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I scritch Frumpkin and sort of say, "Wow, this would be a good job for you," but I don't, I can't command you, so I guess. Go! <laughs> uh, shoot, go, go in the hole! Go in the hole! Go! Make an animal handling check. Uh, Eight. 
Eight. Frumpkin runs through your legs and heads back to the rest of the group. <laughs> right? Right? Um. <laughs> well, I will. I'll peek through the crack and see if I can see it. First, I'll check it for traps. I'll check okay. the crack for traps. You got it. Don Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Don Piedo. 20, 23 for traps. What <laughs> my eyes. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Um, it, oh, classic internet. All right. Uh, but no, uh, Frumpkin is, is waiting. Didn't go completely back, but it's not just waiting at the edge and kind of like letting you do your thing. Um, looking around the entrance here, you rolled a 15, you said? For, for traps, 23. Uh, for 23 for traps. No traps visible around this. Then I'll peek my head through the crack and see if I can see anything. Okay. You glance through and the stone opening seems to progress for about five or six more feet. And then you just see darkness beyond that. No problem. <laughs> no problem. Not a, not a fall at all. I will take a piece of wire.
Yeah! <laughs> 